Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fabulous episode of Great Scott. I'm Scotty B, and thanks for watching. I'm sorry that you have to look at my arms. Ugh. Erica Durance will be joining Supergirl next season. And why? Because Laura Bernanti cannot return to the role. It's a strange situation because we're losing a character that we know looks like one thing and was also a twin that was a huge role in the first season. An evil role that maybe wasn't really evil or maybe was really only doing it because she loves Supergirl, but... Nevertheless, she was in a huge amount of the season that year, and you would think that that would be the time she would say, because of other, other commitments, she can't play it. But I think what happened was, when the series moved to Vancouver to save money and to be on the CW, it caused a bit of strain for a lot of actors. It's the reason we lost Callista Flockhart, and it now seems to be the reason that we're losing Laura. And I think that, being that she's a Broadway actress, she does a lot of theater, that's in New York, and when you do a theater show, it's it's every day. It's every, uh... Hey! Shut up out there! I don't know who these vehicles think they are going in front of my house like that, but... We must... Forge on. I think it's very difficult to also film in Vancouver for weeks and weeks and months and months. And then do shows that happen every day. <clears throat> Sometimes I think you can work around that somehow, but if she's doing a lot of work, which good for her, but she can't really be available. Now, the thing about the role that she was playing is this season, I think she was on one or two episodes. So it's not like it's really a heavy role unless they're planning on using her more in the next season. Maybe she got the information for the season, saw how many scripts it was, saw what her schedule was going to be like, and said, I really want to do a lot of shows in New York. There's just no way I can do it. Greg Berlanti said he has worked with her many times. He loves her, but they just couldn't figure out a way to make it work with scheduling. So it's not a matter of being fired. It's not a matter of them having a falling out or something. At least they're not saying that it is. It's just that she can't make it work for her schedule. And, and that happens with actors sometimes. So the unfortunate thing is it's going to be weird in this series that... And I don't think there's any way to explain it. It's just going to be, uh, hopefully people don't care that much that somebody that looks incredibly different from the person who played the role before is going to be playing the role now. If she was a baby, as Kal-El was when he came from Krypton, you could say that maybe Astra fiddled with Kara's memories or with the hologram to make her remember incorrectly what her mom looked like. If you're a baby when you leave, you don't really remember your mother's face. But when you're 12, it's going to be pretty hard to say, uh, Oh yeah, that's what my mom looked like. I forgot. And it's in the opening of the show every day that she sees them before she leaves. So uh, it's not as if she has any reason not to remember. Uh, she could have been brainwashed, I suppose, or uh, false memories implanted in there at some point, which told her that her mom looked a certain way, like... Laura and now she realizes that her mom actually looks like Erica. Weird. More than likely they will just say nothing about it as they did with Justin Whalen when he replaced Michael Landis as Jimmy Olsen on Lois and Clark or when Noel Neal replaced Phyllis Coates on the original Adventures of Superman TV series. There's not always an answer. You, uh, well, we got to replace the actress. She can't do it. So here's what she looks like now. I guess it's a little like saying people can't really fly and you suspend disbelief for that. So we've got a new actress now. Suspend disbelief and pretend that she always looked this way. It's difficult when you ask an audience to pretend things that they can see are not the same. It's, I guess, one thing to say pretend that there could be a Kryptonian that could fly around. And she also has a cousin that also flies around. But now pretend that you didn't see for a season a woman who looked one way and now looks another way. Uh, but Erica Durance is a favorite. She's a uh, legacy actor, as Greg Berlanti called her in the press release. Uh, we love it when they when they come on board and they've they've been in Superman related projects before and from what I have seen Erica had her own show for a little bit it didn't do very well it was canceled and I don't think she's really done much else so it's kind of neat on one hand being an actor I think on the other hand you'd like to have more diversity and more work but if you're not getting work 
any work is good and it's nice to to get a job and it's nice to work with people you might be familiar with i don't know if she worked with anybody on this series before but it's another series in the same realm that she worked in and she's playing a different character but it's kind of exciting to get that call and say listen we'd like you to come on board and, and be in this show too i would do it if i had been an actor i would want to be involved the rest of my life and, and whatever came along if they called me and said we know you played go out on a limb here superman in a previous series when you were younger we'd like you to play superman's father in a new series now i would jump at the chance i would do it uh so call me thanks everybody uh, for watching and remember always look up in the sky even if your mom looks different than the last time you remembered mm -hmm. uh,